All right, everyone, here's a really crazy triumph effect you can do on somebody and freak them the hell out because this isn't even humanly possible. What I just did was I shuffled all of these face down cards into all of these face up cards. All right, we shuffle everything in together like this. Don't blink. It's a big mess, but with the help of the two jokers, I brush and everything is back to normal, which makes absolutely no sense. Here is a tutorial for the triumph. I got this idea from a trick Gregory Wilson does where at the triumph your card is the only one that's facing the other way. I modified it to a much easier version of the triumph. I don't know what it's called but um, I'll give credit in the description box when I remember which um, trick that Gregory does has this. Uh, the only thing I added was the joker idea, I guess. So, um, let the camera get back in focus. So, here's how it goes. Your setup is a joker face up here, and a joker face up there. Everything else is facing the same direction. So, one face up on the bottom, everything facing the other way, face up on top. Now, it's up to you to figure out how to do that without your audience seeing. You can have a prepared deck or do it under their noses when they're not paying attention, which is what I like to do. Same with this part. You're going to pharaoh like this. It should fly by them that this is phased down when you split. But just in case it's not, just say, hey, watch this when you're already holding the packets like this. If they're having any doubts about whether you're... Um, doing a legitimate face up face down pharaoh the next part is very deceiving so what you're gonna do is pharaoh um, break about half as perfectly half as you can because um, you're gonna pharaoh here's the other joker the face up one you can only see its back right now if you can see the other one here if you were to do it like this then you can easily see that that's the joker. But anyway, no matter which way you do it, this joker right here is going to have to end up on the outside. So you want to keep these jokers on the outside. In other words, you don't want to shuffle this beneath this card. You want to keep it outside. So let's do that pharaoh already. This, if you did it um, perfect half and half, this should make this card end up on the top. You know what I'm saying? So if you cut the deck perfectly in half, then if you skip this card, we'll make this card get um, end up on the other side too, unless you don't know how to do the pharaoh, and somehow you can shove all of these into the middle right here. But anyway, you get the point. You're going to come here. Now, your jokers are still on the outside. Do not turn it like this because you'll flash this red card. You want them to believe all of these cards are phased down, which they are except for this one. But you don't want them to see that one. So you can't just go like this because they'll see face up. So you need to grab one card above it or more. But as long as you show this card first, that hides that one. So what I do to be more precise in this part is I square I square everything like this and with the corner right here I can grab just about there or maybe a couple cards up and then just ripple like this so you're holding this in like a negative dealer grip you're gonna turn this not horizontally but face um, upside down like this so you're gonna turn this part backwards and re-grip it so that it looks like a similar grip. So I put it back in my right hand because if you if you just turn it like this and then riffle here, they, they can tell from this hand position that you just turned it the other way. So switch hands. This takes some bit of control not to flash anything, but just re-square everything and then do the same thing from this corner. Don't flash the face down one this time. 
and all of these cards will look face up. Do not grab too few cards like here because they can think that the, this half is phase down and that's why you're skipping it. And then you can just do a half pass afterwards. This can fool magicians too because I've seen a shit ton of tutorials for magic and I know how a lot of magic is done and this fooled me every single time until I saw the explanation. Anyway. Show as many cards as possible and then go straight into the cascade. Do not flash this part because they'll see that all the cards are face up already. Angle this towards their eyes like this. And now what you're gonna do is your excuse to get rid of the odd facing cards, which was my idea, is to do this move which I got from Dan and Dave's Mary Kate and Ashley um, trick where you throw the deck except the top and bottom cards. And this is justified that this is face up even though this is face down because they think that the cards are face up, face down, face up, face down all over the place. So they have no reason to suspect anything when they see that this is different than this red, white, they won't care because they think the deck is a mess. You do the John Cornelius production which is uh, first two fingers on the bottom ring here, thumb here, your thumb slides the top card that way with your first finger. So your first finger lets go of the bottom and grips the top and now your bottom two fingers and the middle curl as your thumb pushes and that'll get this snap and then you extend the middle two fingers out with the card face up and then turn the first over this way and both of the cards will be face up that's a production and now you can close the production by placing this card on top of this one and now you brush the deck and then place these cards here in the same facing facing the same direction and now you can show the climax a very important thing you need to keep in mind while doing this is when you are about to show them that all the cards are facing opposite directions supposedly you want to angle this down this way because if you angle it up a little bit, they might see that this card is facing the same as this card, which will ruin your trick. So do it like this. Of course, you're going to flash this when you turn it over, but do it fast or put emphasis on this side. Say all of these face ups are going to be shuffled into, so then they're going to um, try to look here again because they can kind of tell that you're going to riffle the other ones. So they'll be looking here. Another thing you can do so that they don't see red red as you're flipping it this way is you can cover this part with your hand like this and that way the first thing that they see is white. So that's an idea. One thing that really helps me keep these jokers on the outside is that when I do the pharaoh and when I do the pharaoh by the way I break the top packet and bring it back. So, I already aligned this card on the very top. Damn, this camera is out of focus like a motherfucker. Oh, that's better. This top card's already over and this card is already under before I pharaoh. And that way if I pharaoh from this position, this deck is worn out because I've performed this a lot of times today. Not to mention the perfect pharaohs and the anti-pharaoh video. But this card will stay on the top and that card will stay on the bottom. You can try it again over and over again until you have a really convincing looking pharaoh. Without too many gaps like this for example. Not too many cards on this side. Not too many on this side. And then now you can do the trick. Another reason, first of all, if you only pharaoh like this, 
instead of making it as perfect a pharaoh as possible is like they're gonna think that if you only shuffle half the cards together that's facing the same way and the same thing about the half pass that you can somehow turn this over and that's how you're doing it because only a little bit of cards are being shuffled so that's why you want to shuffle as many cards as possible so you're doing your pharaoh as full as possible with as many cards as possible with the joker still on the outside just because this joker is right here makes them think that all of these cards are face up especially after you show this part which makes them truly believe that the other cards were facing the same direction right but in reality this is your situation everything is already facing the same direction and this wouldn't look very convincing if the joker wasn't here like this looks convincing this looks not convincing so that's why this trick works and um, why it's amazing so thank you Gregory Wilson